What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another trolly mail day today. Some more mail from the one and only trolls themselves. Troll and Toad. I don't know how many times I just said troll there. I'm gonna go slice into this. Get this. Uh, my info there. There we go. Okay. Now, our first card here Intercept Wave. Ultimate Rare from The Shining Darkness. A uh, pretty cheap one. Just, again, just to fill out the Ultimate Rare sets for all of them. There you go. Intercept Wave. Our first card. That one from The Shining Darkness. But I believe, yeah, here we go. Started to get into uh, the Star Strike Blast. And just awful some of the condition on these cards. I noticed as I was going through them before this, like, look at the the edge on this. Actually, doesn't look that bad in IRL, but you can see it clearly on the picture. Mischief of the, the Yokai. That's why I hate buying with no picks. Eek. But sometimes you take that risk for cheaper cards. Another Star Strike Blast Ultimate Rare, Power Giant. Again, very dirty. Doesn't look like there's any wear on it, so that's okay. Decent, I guess. Um, and then I believe our last 5Ds card, we have some GX stuff coming up, but all Ultimate Rares today. No secrets. It's a little bit of edge wear on Grave of the Super Ancient Organism. Look at that ulti. You can barely even see what's going on in there. But uh, there's like a bunch of monsters crystallized. Either like in glass or whatever. Yeah, the uh, Troll and Toad quality on these cards. Troll and Toad near mint definitely holds up. So there you go. Our 5Ds cards. Now, getting into the GX stuff, Rottweiler. And uh, this is one of these weird ones that's like Jaden used. And it has to do with Elemental Heroes too. When this card is destroyed as a result of battle, add from, from your graveyard one card that includes Elemental Hero in its name and Polymerization. So I'm not sure why it wasn't Elemental Hero related. Should be called like Elemental Hero ha Hound or something. A little bit of dirt there on the side. I'll clean that off later. And there we have it, Rottweiler. Beautiful cybernetic revolution, ultimate rare. And unfortunately, this should be the highlight, but I already threw the hard sleeves, saw a bunch of, a bunch of flaws here. That really upset me. I really might want to have to, might want to have to. <laughs> I really might have to mention these. You got this very noticeable edge wear and scratching on the front. Um, and this corner is absolutely moshed. The top too, oh my goodness. It's absolutely destroyed. So I even asked them, make sure this card this is the one that <laughs> I want to make sure it comes in good condition. So, I don't know. The rest of the card is good. But, yeah, I don't know. Kind of disappointing. But, Ancient Gear Beast, not not too shabby of an ulti. Yeah, it's definitely not in the condition I wanted it, though. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Just picked up Ancient Gear Golem, so that should go good with him. There you go. You have the two, uh, the two, the two dogs. Two GX dogs. Rottweiler, Ancient Gear Beast. Almost have all of the 5Ds Ultimates and Secret Rares. Uh, most in first edition, so I'm pretty happy about that. Just need about three more. Continuing on with the Star Strike Blast theme, we have another piece of mail here that I'm going to start cracking as I keep talking. Uh, but this is from... Actually, just ordered a couple days ago. It's nice when you're able to find stuff locally. This is from Toronto. Uh, first card we'll throw in here. Time Escaper from uh, 
BP3. Oh, she came right off. <laughs> Thought that was a tab to help me get the cards out of here. Well, that'll do just fine. But of course, we didn't buy a time escaper. We bought this here beautiful Gaia Drake, the Universal Force. Look at that epic Gaia card. Looks like he's on a Pegasus or something. And there we have it. This is actually the last ultimate rare I needed from Star Strike Blast. A little bit, uh, a little bit of dirt on it. Some slight scratching. So here we have some more mail. Already started ripping it open. Uh, this actually from a fellow Yugi tuber, J R Jobber. You definitely know him. His channel's huge. So. It was really epic to be able to pick up a card from the man himself. Big fan of his channel. Stays humble. Jobber is definitely one of the uh, bigger YouTubers that I, de I still enjoy watching. Keeps it humble. Great dude. This was actually good. He had that little pr protective thing at the top because, see how it wasn't double sleeved? It slid up, but because he had, uh, he actually had taped a sleeve to it. So the card didn't get damaged. Good on you, Jobber. Wouldn't expect anything less from uh, the legend himself. Okay, but here it is for our reveal. I was going to get the other mat out, but sticking with Star Strike Blast, whatever. Just want to get this mail day done with. But here we have it. Crusader of Endemion. And if I'm not mistaken, this guy's looks pretty fresh. Looks like there's a very little bit of edge wear. Stardust Overdrive, notorious for its edge wear. Yeah, there's a little bit of dirt on the back here, a little bit of scuffing, but other than that, and not too shabby. So, and look at that ulti. It looks like it could possibly be a Euro print, but I'm not sure. Might be an American print. Stardust Overdrive, ultimate rare. The last one I needed from this set as well. So... Pretty epic. Look at that car. The ulti pop on that is beautiful. Oof. Stardust Overdrive. Some There's just some weird things about certain sets. The first edition on Stardust Overdrive, I notice is, uh, it's almost like it's bolded. That's another little, little cool, little bit of information about it. Yeah, so there's some minimal edge wear on that, but other than that, very beautiful card. Look at that Crusader of Endemion. Thank you very much, Jobber. Um, Condition-wise, Guy Drake could have been better, but still two amazing, awesome alties to add to the collection. We're getting there. We're getting close to 5D set completion, so stay tuned. There'll definitely be a binder video soon, I promise. Massive shout-out to Jobber for the amazing card, the amazing Ultimate Rare. Again, last I needed for my Stardust Overdrive collection, and... Again, Canadian seller, you could have done better. We're not done yet. Continuing on, ending this mail day off with a bang. Here we have some awesome express mail. Also from Canada Post. So another Canadian seller. Without further ado, let's just uh, get cracking right into this. Okay, here we have it. The card in question. Let's slide it out here very carefully. There she blows. Look at that baby. Horus the Black Flame Dragon, a level eight. Let's get my sleeves out here. Here we have it, the moment of truth. So, again, this is from a Canadian seller. Got here very fast, very happy about that. And Described as near mint to mint. So, with that being said, let's take a nice little look-see. Wow, the front looks very clean. Beautiful. 
beautiful. Look at that horse, the black flame dragon. And uh, this is, as you can see, an unlimb, but nonetheless, still pretty epic. It has that waxiness on the back, a little bit of a stamp. There we have it. Shout out to that epic eBay seller. I will be linking him in the description. I believe his name was Dusty. So thank you, Dusty, for the awesome card. Again, just an unlimb, but these guys are so hard to come by in good condition, especially first edition. Had to pick one up. There we have it for this epic mail day. Thank you, everybody. My couple Canadian sellers and as well as Jobber. Very awesome to get mail from the man himself. There's a black flame dragon. I hope you all enjoyed. Smash that like button, comment, and subscribe for daily Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Peace.